2018 Ford Ka Plus Review The Good Points of Ford Ka Plus Affordable and Well-Equipped Competitive Ford Finance Deals Comfortable but Fun to Push Space for 4 Passengers Decent Luggage Space The Bad Points of Ford Ka Plus Bland styling weighed against rivals. Interior design may very well be bolder. Few personalization options. Limited engine and trim choice. With value for money and practicality central to its proposition, the five door Ford Ka Plus not just replaces the Ka three door, but less expensive versions with a slightly larger Fiesta. It's only one supersized city car available, however, with sensible five-door rivals being released the form with the Hyundai i10, Kia Pugno and Vauxhall Viva. The Spartan Dacia Sandero can be available for much the same price while offering an even greater volume of space. So why can you want the Cop Plus on the Fiesta, and the numerous affordable alternatives? Ford states that new car prioritizes functionality, high quantities of equipment and fuel efficiency while remaining fun to operate a vehicle. And it seems like a substantial car for the extra bucks. Ford's entry-level model continues to grow. While some small cars concentrate on style with endless personalization options from zany patterns to lurid paint and bright interior trim. The Cop Plus is usually a much more serious prospect. It doesn't make an effort to compete with rivals inside the design stakes but rather has neat and tidy styling in and out and a lot of standard kit. It's also much larger than its Fiat 500 based predecessor, giving little away to the Fiesta when it comes to length, meaning there's more space for passengers in addition to their luggage. A pair of rear doors also enhances the Cop Plus S flexibility and a sense value. Only two engines and a couple trims. Though Ford is renowned for offering countless versions of all of its cars, the Cop Plus isn't one of them. Just two 1.2 liter petrol engines can be found, with two specifications offered. Base studio trim comes only together with the less powerful 70 horsepower motor, while Zatac trim can be obtained with 70 horsepower and 85 horsepower power plants. Fuel economy for both models is similar, although quite a few rivals offer lower claimed fuel consumption, and therefore if you want one of the most economical small car, this isn't it. On the other hand, in 85 horsepower constitute the Ka Plus is one with the faster city cars. At this end on the market many cars feel as if they've had equipment stripped seem to cut the retail price. With just two specification levels offered, this just isn't the case together with the Ka Plus. Even the fundamental car includes Bluetooth, a burglar alarm and a trip computer as well as a handy speed limiter and hill start assist. Those after a computerized gearbox, however, will likely be disappointed, as only a 5-speed manual can be acquired with both engines. Ford Cop Plus Hatchback Model History June 2016, replacing the Fiat 500-based 3-door Ka, the 5-door Cop Plus can be obtained to order with first deliveries in September. Practicality and value have become the key factors with just two trim levels, Studio and Zatec, provided by 70 horsepower and 85 horsepower versions with the same 1.2-liter TVCT petrol engine. January 2017, limited availability Zatec Black Edition and Zatec White Edition launched using the more powerful 85 horsepower engine. The Black Edition has tuxedo black bodywork with contrasting frozen white roof and mirror caps, the White Edition the other way around. Both have 15-inch black alloy wheels and rear privacy glass. 
Watch the whole Ford Cop Plus hatchback review why this small model punches well above how light it is. One petrol engine, two power outputs. Neither goes particularly quickie. Five speed manual will be the only gearbox. Whichever type of Ford Ka Plus you plump for, its limited performance it's served up by way of an on turbocharged petrol engine sending capability to the front wheels by way of a 5 speed manual gearbox. The Ka Plus is light on power, but thankfully light on weight too. As a result, the 1.2 liter TVCT85 horsepower model is fairly sprightly just for this class of car, accelerating at a standstill to 62 miles per hour in 13.3 seconds and keeping about to 105 miles per hour. Around town, the engine is smooth and pulls well from low engine speeds, whilst the light, progressive clutch makes this a straightforward car to push slowly. You will have to make full use with the engine's rev range to take care of faster traffic about a motorway, because it takes a while to produce speed, though. With around 20% less muscle the 70 horsepower version on the same engine lags behind the more robust Ka Plus, requiring a prolonged 15.3 seconds heading to 62 miles per hour both models have the same amount of pulling power meaning the lesser engine is a bit more capable compared to the figure suggest. With a small price difference between 70 horsepower and 85 horsepower models, many buyers will probably be tempted to opt for the stronger version, the way it's very likely to feel slightly happier on dual carriageways and motorways, particularly if you work the engine hard in the event it outpunches its less powerful sibling. Keener drivers should take pleasure in the COP Plus. Light steering is ideal for city driving. Tackles motorways easily. The Ford Fiesta is one in the tidiest handling super minis around with so much Fiesta DNA crammed into the COP Plus it's no real surprise that it takes corners by using these enthusiasm. Not only is it simple to operate a vehicle but it's more pleasant than most cars in this price. The steering, which can be nicely light and direct at low speeds, seems to inspire confidence at higher velocities, with a decent level of weight around bends. Throw in controlled but comfortable suspension which makes the Cop Plus surprisingly sharp around corners, while proving very stable about the motorway. With its small dimensions and tight turning circle the Ka Plus is simple to place within the road and must be easy enough for the majority of drivers to park. The chunky leader and stubby gear lever fall nicely at hand adding to the feeling of control from driving. Dark, uninspiring interior. Feels well built and robust. Multimedia package is poor. The interior in the Cop Plus can be quite dark and plain. All the materials feel solid and manufactured to last, but there's none from the chic design details that models just like the style-centric Fiat 500 get or maybe those from the Citroen C1 and Peugeot 108. With black seat fabric, black dashboard plastics and glossy piano black trim, the Cop Plus S cabin is really a pretty uninspiring location to be, although the materials do feel surprisingly plush. The layout of controls and build quality are fine, but there won't be any imaginative details to cause you to smile. Function firmly ranks over form here. Even the speedometer looks very dated and drab, especially just for this class of car where manufacturers are constantly upping their game with new methods for buyers to jazz up their interior and exterior of their cars. No Satanov system can be acquired on the COP Plus, which means the standard media system is extremely basic in contrast to rivals for example the Peugeot 108, that features a large, bright 7.0-inch touchscreen system. Even top-spec Zaytec Cop Plus models only get yourself a small 4.2-inch screen. Ride quality is surprisingly good. Plenty of cabin space for 4, 2.
little exterior noise to gripe about. The Cop Plus may best rivals using its impressive road holding, just about all scores well for comfort. There's lots of space and rows plus the seats themselves offer much greater back support than you'd expect for this kind of affordable car. These well padded seats show that you should be able to dig up out after having a long journey with no aches and pains. The suspension also digests bumps effectively, helping to make the Cop Plus ideal for more than just city car duties as its smooth suspension and decent refinement levels, while low amounts of wind and road noise signify it didn't feel out of place around the motorways we experienced during our assessment. Thankfully the engine remains reasonably hushed at speed too. Just two standard Cop Plus trims. Equipment levels are reasonable. Options are rare. Forge kept things simple using a totier trim structure to the Cop Plus, Studio and Zaytec. Standard Ford Cop Plus hatchback equipment. Studio models include 15-inch steel wheels with wheel covers, electric front windows and door mirrors, an AM-FM radio that has a smartphone dock, and Bluetooth and USB connectivity. Also included are front fog lights, a speed limiter function to help prevent you from inadvertently speeding, hill start assist, including a trip computer and a security. Stepping around Zaytec trim gets you 15-inch alloy wheels, manual air conditioning, be sure you radio which has a 4.2-inch screen as well as cruise control. Ford's MyKey safety system can also be standard. This lets parents set a maximum speed and audio volume level for children when driving, with your settings saved within one in the keys, encouraging young drivers they are driving responsibly. Optional Ford Cop Plus Hatchback Accessories The Cop Plus may skimp on personalization options, including to tone paint options and bespoke interior finishes, but a few handful of approaches to tailor it on your specific needs. Bright yellow may be the only standard color, with metallic paint being separated out into premium shades and more expensive exclusive hues. Choose a Zaytec and rear privacy glass might be added, as can climate control and heated front seats. The Zaytec may also be upgraded together with the city pack comprising of rear parking sensors, power folding door mirrors and electric rear windows. Only three stars when tested by Euro and Cap. Chest protection a location of concern. Six airbags and stability control are standard. Unlike the Fiesta where it's based that score top marks for safety, in the event the Ford Ka Plus was crash tested by Euro and Cap it disappointingly only scored three stars. The organization specifically cited deficiency of autonomous emergency braking technology and poor chest protection for front seat occupants as areas for concern. Still, you can find six airbags fitted as standard in addition to electronic stability control with an emergency assistance function that alerts the emergency services inside event of an accident. Helping to increase safety undoubtedly are a speed limiter on all models, as well as hill start assist and Ford's My Key feature, explained above. All UK models also receive a perimeter alarm in an attempt to increase security. Plenty of space for those and luggage. Five doors only with this generation. Plethora of cubbies for cabin detritus. Space is high around the Ford Ka Plus S set of priorities. There's room for four six-footers, but what's more impressive for any car with this price may be the seats. Both rows offer good back support, so that it is a comfortable car for extended journeys. You should be capable to fit five passengers in for a push, too. Boot space is actually comparatively good to the size of car, too, at 270 liters, just 20 liters less as opposed to Fiesta. 
This beats the Hyundai i10 figure of 252 liters as well as the Vauxhall Viva at 206 liters. The larger Dacia Sandero has greater loading space, though. There's lots of cubby holes for cans, bottles and umbrellas scattered throughout the cabin, and thus the Cop Plus could definitely be your only car, as opposed to simply being fit for commuting or short urban journeys. Music